In celebration of Women's History Month and International Women's Day, Dress for Success Atlanta is excited to be participating once again in the Your Hour, Her Power campaign. The campaign is inspired by the belief that when women have access to education and job resources, their contributions strengthen communities, increase organizational effectiveness and business results, and help economies grow. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Lisa J. Smith. She is the Senior Vice President of Region External Affairs and Community Engagement for Georgia Power. I'm thrilled that she's given us an opportunity to talk today and even more excited to recognize her as an Empower honoree this year. Let me begin by saying welcome to you, Lisa. And may I ask you to get us started today by telling us a little bit about your career path. Well, let me say this first. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, I have known about Dress for Success Atlanta for many, many years and all of the great work that your organization does. It is near and dear to my heart. So this is a very special recognition uh, for me. Um, when I think about my career path, my journey, uh, if I had a theme, it really would be about the value of experiencing different things and being open and how that really propels you for growth. And so that has just been my story. Um, anyone who knows me, they know that I tell these stories about growing up in Mississippi and what that was like, uh, the great uh, family dynamic, but also just not having the opportunity to be exposed to a lot. So the idea of majoring in electrical engineering, I didn't even know what an engineer was, um, but I had, I was very fortunate to have people in my life who poured into me. And I think for all of us who have had an opportunity to grow and develop, there's someone you have those people in your your life that you can look back on and say, that person was a great support for me. So that's where my uh, journey began, uh, majoring in engineering. Um, and I went to work for a uh, electric utility in Mississippi. And so again, being open to a uh, organization that was male dominated, but over the years have just learned to be comfortable with that. Uh, it's okay to be the first. It's okay to be the only um, and really embrace it and see it as a powerful position to help others come along as well and not have to say, I am the first or the only. Um, so, gosh, what a great opportunity. Um, my family and I then had an opportunity to move over to Georgia. So we were open to moving to a different state. Uh, while here in Georgia for the last, oh, 20 plus years, again, I've moved all over. I think we counted it up. It's been about 10 different moves, some large towns, small towns. Um, but in addition to that move, all of those moves, I had an opportunity to work in different organizations. So not only engineering, but also sales and marketing, economic development, and the last few years in community engagement. And each opportunity has really built on the last. And I would just like to encourage anyone um, who can hear my voice, <laughs> please be open. It allows you to be a better leader. You can solve problems because you've touched it, you've seen it, you've experienced it. And most importantly, you can advise and support others. You can leave that legacy because you can say, yes, I've had that experience or I know someone who's had that experience. And so I just like to reiterate when, when I reflect over my journey, it really has been, I feel successful and enjoyable because I was open to new opportunities. And I am just excited about whatever is coming next. You were nominated as someone who exemplifies and believes in the importance of elevating the voices of women. What advice would you give women who are going into leadership positions for the first time? Absolutely. So what you just shared is exactly what I would share uh, for any female who is going into leadership for the first time is that you are already enough. 
And that, I know we hear that, but really, um, that is the advice that I give often that I really need for women to hear that. You are already enough. Um, Growing up, again, I saw the strength of women coming together to support each other, to serve in the community. And so I feel like all of my life, I've had an opportunity to just continue that legacy. Um, There are some organizations, some scholarships that I've had a chance to start. And it's all because I see the value of women being at the table. Um, The strength the compassion and the wisdom that we tend to demonstrate, uh, it's really necessary for the success of any organization, any community. Women need to be a part of the leadership that's at the table. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today and for telling us how you got where you are and also to share with other women about how important it is to really recognize and, and feel and know your value. Um, and I really just appreciate you taking the time to do this. And we're so, so honored to have you as an honoree this year. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thank you, Lauren. I look forward to it as well. And for everyone watching, join in the Your Hour, Her Power campaign for Women's History Month. By giving the equivalent of just one hour of your pay, you help a Dress for Success Atlanta client have access to programs, services, and tools that will support her in achieving economic advancement. And you also join us in celebrating women leaders for their pivotal role that they play in driving business and economic gains, as well as social and cultural change. Go to atlanta.dressforsuccess.org slash donate or visit any one of our pages on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn at Just for Success Atlanta and click the link to donate. Thanks for watching.